here we are in the all familiar ER <laughs> engine room. Uh, I just uh, changed the membranes on the Desalator Duo 160, and uh, there are a few points that uh, eluded me at first. I had to uh, put in the membranes incorrectly, I had to repeat the process, and so I figured I'd make a video to just kind of go over what had happened thus far. Um, so that others uh, have a streamlined process. Uh, first, in, in, in telling you what we did, first, uh, this is the fresh water out, uh, easily unscrewed here. We unscrewed, then took that out. Then I un unscrewed the two high pressure hoses. This is the high pressure uh, uh, salt water in. This is the high pressure salt water out hose right here. And uh, you can see that we go to the two cylinders. The cylinders are attached to the uh, roof of the engine room on both ends. So after you remove the high pressure hoses and the low pressure freshwater hose, um, it's then time to uh, to take out the cylinders uh, from the ceiling. So you go in and you you take these out together. Uh, I work with my kids; uh, they're 11 and uh, and 14. And so I was in deep here. I'm 6'2". It's pretty uncomfortable. So uh, facing that way, away from it, I had to reach up underneath there and, and get that undone. A little bit challenging um it's especially challenging to catch all three uh, that being a split washer regular washer and the nut as it comes off the the ceiling bolt but uh we dropped one and, and ultimately found it so then uh they uh they just rested this uh, cylinder assembly on my back and then just gradually pulled it out uh, the two girls and uh, we got cracking once you have it out, you'll take, of course, these post, uh, these six bolts off, and uh, and then you will have just the assembly on its own. The way these things are designed is you have essentially the uh, the the first cylinder, okay, right here, which receives high pressure fresh salt water, and then the fresh water comes from the highest pressure here at the upstream is what we call it, and and then goes downstream where it connects to the other cylinder cylinder using a bobbin, a small metallic. Uh, chrome bobbin uh, with uh, um, o-rings on it and then the water comes back on the exterior portions of, of the membrane at that point a lot of fresh water is, is removed from it and now it's a hypertonic solution that comes out here which then goes to your panel where you can control the uh, the pressure on the membranes so um, as you take the membranes out you will notice uh, that one of the ends of the membranes has a V-lip seal. It is an O-ring, uh, it looks like an O-ring, and it's on one end and not the other end, which is uh, very important to note that it should be uh, replaced on the upstream end. That is, on the red tube here, it should be on the, on the portion or closest to where the, uh, the fitting is of the high-pressure tubing, and then there will be no uh, uh, fitting at the end of the uh, membrane on that end on the first tube. Then it goes through the bobbin and it goes to the second tube where you will have a, a V uh, uh, ring around uh, or O ring around the actual membrane coming down here to the low pressure and uh, end of the tube where you will have no uh, V uh, uh, seal, brine seal, they also call it here. So once that's all installed um, correctly, you reassemble it and you put on the end plates and you bring it back to the engine room. I just did what I did in reverse. I climbed in, got my uh, the assembly loaded actually into the socket. So into the actual socket assembly, I put first the uh, the nut, first the nut, then uh, then the split uh, O-ring, and then the ultimate uh, washer. Um, or split uh, washer, then the ultimate non-split washer in that uh, order, so that when I just took the uh, um, the actual assembly, I could put it all up there together, all three together that was contained actually in the um, in the ratchet. So I could put it on, and instead of fumbling with three different individual parts, uh, and then I was able to put it on there and start it on on each end. What is also important is you don't want to put it on one of the bolts, okay, uh, and then screw it all the way in because then this side will hang off at an angle and you won't be able to get the hole on the bracket lined up with the with the bolt so it's important that you only screw it in a couple of screws uh, on the nut and have it hang before you push it up on the second bolt 
uh, and then screw those nuts in. Then you can push it up together and it goes up easily, but that was a bit frustrating. Uh, then you rehook up everything as you had it previously and uh, make fresh water. Additionally, I noted that uh, it took uh, running it for about five minutes before I could get the parts per million down. Uh, at first it was around 900, ultimately around 150 uh, as I ran it for about five minutes or a little more. And uh, that's it. Hopefully this, uh, this helps you guys and uh, let me know if you have any concerns, questions, comments. You can leave them in the uh, comment section. Thanks so much.